up guys this is michael with michael talks metal back for some more metal madness today how about helping the channel out subscribe or drop a like if you feel the video is worthwhile appreciate the help thank you guys for the support our topic today is another in our series on precipitation hardening types of stainless steels this is stainless steel type 174. the aisi designation is type 630 and the UNS designation for the chemical composition of this alloy is UNS S17400. Capable of high strength and toughness after heat treatment and with corrosion and oxidation resistance typical of stainless steels, 174 is one of the most common and commercially important of the pH stainless alloys. It finds applications in a wide range of industries from aircraft and aerospace to chemical and petrochemical. For aerospace applications, the alloy is aircraft quality where the cleanliness requirements of 23 AMS 2301 are applicable or premium aircraft consumable electrode melted CEM to AMS 2300. For petrochemical sour gas applications, the double H1150 condition has NACE approval for sour gas service. As in all of the precipitation hardening stainless grades, it receives a solution anneal that is followed by an aging treatment to develop final properties. Typical solution anneal is at 1900 degrees Fahrenheit and then rapidly cooled to room temperature. Aging temperatures are specified by the condition description. The H900 condition is aged at 900 degrees Fahrenheit H1100 is aged at 1100 degrees Fahrenheit, etc. Aging requires one hour of temperature for H900 and four hours when aged to other conditions. Cooling rate after aging is an air cool. The double H1150 condition is two 1150 degree four hour aging treatments. And so what do you guys say we get over to some chemistry? Except for today, we're gonna give it a different spin. So. The chemistry is going to start with carbon at 0.07% max, manganese 1.00% max, silicon 1.00% max, phosphorus 0.04% max, chromium 15 to 17.5%, nickel 3 to 5%, copper 3 to 5%, columbium plus tantalum. 5 times C to 0.45%. And there's a little asterisk there. Lastly, iron is the balance. And so the asterisk means when you're taking 5 times the actual carbon content. So 5 times C, which C is carbon of the alloy. For example, if carbon is 0.04, then the columbium plus tantalum minimum is 0.20%. And so back this way. Now, the density is 0 0.280 pounds per cubic inch in the solution annealed condition. The minimum mechanical properties of the H900 condition longitudinal carry 190,000 PSI tensile strength, a 170,000 PSI yield strength with a 10% elongation and a 35% reduction of area. And so we'll keep the specs normal today and just go well, no, not that way. Let's say that way. Specs. Bars and forgings, AMS 5643. The second is AMS 5622, and that is for the bars and forgings, and their AMS cleanliness specs are 2301 and 2300. For plate, it is AMS 5604. The rest are ASTM and ASME specs. And you can have a look. So, this makes video 52. And so we've told you in all of the previous videos that specification and part requirements can add to or alter the information that we presented to you today. So, time 52, what do you think I'm going to say? Can you guess? I'm just going to start with this. Check and go to the specs. So this is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. I appreciate you guys tuning in. 
If you've made it this far and haven't subscribed, please do so now. If you missed any other previous videos, there you go. Check them out. Check out michelinmetals.com for more information on Michelin. Appreciate you guys tuning in. This is Michael with Michael Talks Metal. See you next Thursday, 10 a.m.